Uh, hello, my name is Pablo Salas. Um, the affirmative have just stated that the FDA should assume responsibility of supplements, but we, on the other hand, believe that they should not. And um, the FDA shouldn't regulate supplements because they can't even regulate drugs appropriately. Um, according to the un uh, Undergrowth Health uh, website, evidence shows that while the above statement of, uh, about drugs uh, deaths is unfortunate, uh, unfortunately true, it's been uh, confirmed in a study published by Dr. Barbara Starfield in the Journal of American uh, Medical Association. Over 100 people die every year from the FDA approved prescription drugs. This number isn't from uh, drugs that are, are, uh, that are being prescribed. This figure sadly comes from the number of people who die each year from the FDA approved pharmaceutical drugs prescribed uh, properly by, uh, by a licensed medical profession. Professional, um, why are we going to let the FDA regulate supplements when so many people are already dying and they have full control over drugs? And as I just stated, how many people have already died in a year? Do we want that many deaths that, uh, to occur from people that take supplements? Um, I don't believe so. Um, I also believe that they, that they shouldn't resume responsibility of supplements because people have overall control of what you consume. Um, from information from the consumer updates of dietary supplements, uh, evidence states that dietary, dietary supplements are not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or alleviate the effects of diseases, and using supplements improperly can be harmful. Um, yes, that he did say that the FDA, that the FDA should uh, assume control, and they do have little control, but at the same time, people um, also have the choice of the amount of the supplements that they can consume, and the label clearly states how much you should consume through certain conditions that you have, and these conditions need to be approved through a doctor. So these people that are, that are being uh, caused any harm is from their own faults. Um, I also think that the FDA shouldn't uh, regulate supplements because no deaths have occurred from supplements. Uh, here's stated from uh, should supplements be regulated like drugs over a 27 year period. Uh, vitamin supplements have been alleged to have caused deaths of a total of 11 people in the United States. A new analysis of the U.S. Poison Control Center annual report data indicates that there have, in fact, been no deaths whatsoever from vitamins at all in the 27 years that, that, that such reports have been available. So um, there's no cases where people have actually, uh, where, where uh, investigators have realized that this person had died from supplements. So there's no actual uh, uh, facts on that. Uh, also, I want to attack uh, the current laws that have been in place. Uh, these laws that have, been, that have been implemented to assure the safety of products to consumers, uh, to consumers, which is why the FDA should not assume responsibility over supplements. Uh, stated from the Office of Dietary, Dietary Supplements Background Information, in 2007, the FDA issued good manufacturing practices for dietary supplements, a set of regulations and expectations by which by with which dietary supplements must be manufactured, prepared, and stored to ensure quality. So this just clearly states that, uh, that the regulations that the FDA do have right now, they are enough, and the FDA shouldn't, uh, shouldn't uh, regulate anything else other than that. And manufacturers now are expected to guarantee the identity, purity, strength, and composition of these dietary uh, supplements. As the firm has stated, that they, that they don't do that, but uh, that is clearly false. Uh, another claim is that the FDA shouldn't that the FDA regulating uh, nutritional supplements um, uh, would be a downfall and businesses would close. Uh, the DSHEH uh, changed uh, things considerably by establishing specific authority for the FDA to oversee product labeling, manufacturer uh, inserts, product literature, manufacturing practices, and product safety. This also just clearly states that there are regulations in place. These um, the yes the FTC and the D and the DSE the DSHEA they um, they are regulating effectively and they they do not need the FDA's help at all. Also, the FTC um, uh, does regulate supplements, as uh, the firm said that they did not. But I have uh, um, a source from the uh, Marine Attorney General shutdown web of uh, deceptive uh, deceptive supplemental sellers. It clearly states that the Federal Trade Commission uh, works to promote uh, competition and protect and educate consumers in supplements. Um, they are trying to help uh, uh, people out that do take these supplements. They, uh, they do tell them, hey, these are, are certain uh, side effects, these are the adverse effects that can occur if you do take these supplements. Um, that, uh, also, the FTC shuts down supplemental companies. 
Um, the affirmative stated that they do, uh, uh, they do that they do absolutely nothing in regulating this, but uh, that is absolutely not true. Since uh, from my source, from the FTC shuts down uh, fake weight loss scam and improves 1.3 uh, billion dollar fine, the evidence now states that the FTC that the FTC has settled a case against a weight loss supplement scam that used fake news websites and fake celebrity endorsements. The defendants uh, must pay up to $500,000 and face a threat of paying a total of $1.3 billion, uh, $1, $1. $1 million if they do not stop with their illegal and deceptive uh, activities. This clearly shows that the FTC uh, has the power and they do, and they are enforcing these their regulations. Um, they do oversee uh, the whole um, marketing and uh, the whole advertising uh, aspect of supplements. And this is a clear case that the FDA should not assume responsibility. Also, the FTC has been uh, cutting, uh, shutting down on false advertisements again. From my same uh, source I just stated, um, the Federal Trade Commission and Marine uh, Office of Attorney General today announced a compliant and free settlement with dietary supplement marketers who, alleged, who allegedly used radio and commercials um, as talk shows and print ads featuring uh, endorse, uh, false endorsements to advertise supplements uh, to improve memory and to reduce back and, and joint pain. Thank you.